good kitten once again and let's get back to every time i click in i end up doing that um let's go ahead and i'm still in double speed mode apparently let's go ahead and sell some of the things that i have that's it for armor yep you it takes them two weeks to reset their um inventory if i remember correctly if you actually buy everything of one of these columns, it'll tell you how long it has left, which is a neat feature in my mind. Um, I need to enchant things again. How close am I? I should just stop with the double time at this point. I don't need it. Um, so, then weapons. Then it's time to start enchanting again. Especially the rings. You have ring of poison resistance. Sure, you can wear that. So poison resistance in this. Nope. Oh. It's bad to hit peasants. That would be a problem. Um, poison resistance in this game is not poison the status effect. It's poison the damage type. Ah, damn it. Go ahead and repair that. Oh, get in there. <sighs> Chant item. Poison resistance. Okay. Sure. So yeah, as I was saying, it's poison is the damage type in this case. It's definitely not sellable. That's a gong. That has to go to free haven. That's a quest item. What was I saying? So yeah, it's damage type, so it doesn't actually make any difference on the status effect. Ah. And let's go ahead and head over to the Oracle. So the Oracle is your kind of way of getting hints in the game. And the Oracle is located in Castle Iron Fist. It's very convenient. Hi. This is why I like fighting with Fly. It's so much easier to deal with things. I'll pick up their bodies when I'm done. higher level it's just that it's a lot easier for me to fight when they're this um separated i guess also bar mostly melee so this is gonna be the easiest way i don't really care about getting hit by mind blast to be honest Oof. why am i not able to hit the lizard man My stomach's a bit upset, so if you hear random growling, it's not my cats, it's my stomach. Let's go ahead and pick up the rest of these. Oh, fly spell already expired. I am not used to fly only lasting tens of minutes. Does this last hours at higher level? Yeah. I'm used to that. That's okay. That will be fixed in due time, although not yet. So where we're going is actually up here. I'm going to make more use of double speed, by the way, when it's walking through empty areas, just because, well, they're empty. This is where we actually want to go. And I can't actually fly up this high. You can only fly up to a certain point. So this is, oh, sorry, it's not the Oracle. It's the Seer. The Oracle is someplace else. So this is the pilgrimage. This is where you talk with the Oracle and you get where you need to go to go pray at a shrine. By the way, as a correction, because Creator corrected me before, and I actually did not know this, it's not that just the January month you don't have to visit the Seer for. It is the first shrine that you hit you don't have to see your Seer for. 
So the only time I've ever actually paid attention, it was January. So I just thought it was always that one. So I need to go to the Shrine of Intellect. Journey to the Shrine of Intellect and pray there to be rewarded. The Shrine of Intellect is actually located where I intend to go next. Um, hint, this tells you what you need to do for the next plot quest, which is they're recommending promotion quests. You can actually do the council quests as well. Oddly enough, I'm going to be doing a promotion quest. And I lost it. This is a really in neat feature in my mind. This will give you a vital quest item if you have dropped it someplace and you need it for a quest. Or the game thinks that you need it for a quest, at least. There's a bit of a glitch with that. Anyway, let's go ahead and head back. Oh, um, before I do anything, let me switch over to some notes and take a look at staple schedule or boat schedule. And then M6 because I want to get to mist today. Today is a Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, I would be getting to Freehaven via Stables, New Serpical, or Bootleg Bay East via Boat. Um, from Freehaven, Tuesday, I can get to Iron Fist via Stables, Creek Spire via Stables, and Silver Cove via Ship. So I can to get to Mist this day. That's not what I wanted to hear. So I'm going to go find a Gate Master. So I can just town portal. So wait, I don't want to find a gate master here, but I need to go fly to go heal. I actually want to go find a gate master back in Freehaven so I can go complete a couple more quests while I'm at it. Because I have Sherry or Cheryl, whichever one it is, sitting in my inventory right now. In my inventory. I keep doing that. In my party, I kind of think of them as just being in my inventory. Because... I can actually cast Town Portal to get to Freehaven right now, because it's still the last one of these that I visited. So. Surf, Laborer, Squire. Yes, I know there is a Gate Master in Freehaven that's always here. I mentioned it in a previous video, and I do remember that. But I'd rather not hire the ones that are actually in a building, because they disappear forever when you hire them. Ditch Digger, Alchemist... Squire, Pathfinder, Instructor. Oh yeah, while I'm here, well, first off, let's go return Cheryl or Sherry. Greetings. It's not you. It's one of these oh. nearby. You're a follower of Ah. You don't matter. That's the one that doesn't exist. Oh. Here it is. Wonderful. She's not dead after all. Thank you for all your trouble. I hope you will accept this token of my gratitude. Also, that boosted my reputation some. That's nice. Pleased to meet you. Um, somebody also wanted gongs. You don't get a reputation decrease for selling gongs, if I remember correctly, but I'm going to save and double check. How are you? You're expert diplomacy. You're useless. You're not gongs. You're, yeah. You're gongs? You're gongs. How are you? You're gongs. So, oh, let's make a real save. By the way, I plan on doing a summary video where I'm not actually playing Might Magic 6 after every 10 streams. We'll see how well that goes. This is stream 10. Uh, okay, so 279. 279, yeah. I didn't think that cost any reputation. Pleased to meet you. Um, I'm also going to pick up Lloyd's Hello. Beacon at this point. I hope they have it still. It's been long enough where they m it's going to reset, so I'm going to save before wandering in. Town portal, let's begin. 10,000, sweet. I'm also going to finally pick up telekinesis because I needed that badly. Um, do you have any other spells I particularly want? I mean, acid burst is nice. No. Honestly, I shouldn't even bother picking up Lloyd's Beacon because I'm going to become a much better merchant soon enough. And merchant skill is going to allow me to buy these for quite a bit cheaper. Um, not to mention they're going to be cheaper in Mist anyway if I can. But I am going to try to pick up Telekinesis right now, even though it's going to cost me more. Uh, I 
I don't have to. Really, I just need a Gate Master. Maybe I will end up using the Building Gate Master, because I won't need a Gate Master after this. That's a really good point, me. Thanks, me. You're welcome, me. Hello. You're the Stone Cutter. You're the Gate Master? Hello. No, you're a quest. Which quest was you? I don't remember now. I've gotten my quest logs. Doesn't matter. You're a water master? Yeah. Or expert, I should say. Um, so gate... Oh, that's right. This is the gate master. It's the giant mansion. I remember now. How are you? Join. Oh, that's right. I need to go fire somebody. I'm sorry, teacher. You were very nice. But... Hello? I need the gate master. Because... I am going to use the Gate Master to cast Town Portal to Mist. Welcome to the Island of Mist. This restores spell points. This is actually usually where I end up hanging out for enchanting items because it's close. Also, oh, Town Hall's closed because it's late, isn't it? 426. Okay, I need to hurry. I'm not going to make it in time. So I'm going to cast fly and try. So there's a quest that I actually completed without gaining the initial quest. I'll ignore everything that's over here for the time being. His Grace, Albert Newton, Marquis of Mist and High Sorcerer of Enroth. So Albert Newton, so many references to, um, what should we call it? Famous scientists for this, um, has both the council quest, which the council quest is retrieve the hourglass of time he thinks he, he has some memory issues um and you can read this on yourself but effectively what it boils down to is that he doesn't remember exactly where much of anything is uh it's yeah you need to pick up the hourglass of time for his council quest promotion for wizards i am the magus in charge of training and promoting sorcerers magus 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 Anyway, through power, though powerful, Sorcerer is not the pinnacle of elemental magician. Wizards take the knowledge and ability of a Sorcerer, and they hone those abilities to a sharper level. They have greater magical potential than the Sorcerer, and demand greater respect. The way to earn this training, however, is not easy. Found in the mountain, Fountain of Magic, not Mountain of Magic, um, drink from its waters, and return here. If you are not able to do this, if you are able to do this, I will train you in the ways of a wizard. Wait. I have to get the quest before drinking? Dang it. Uh, ooh. Well, poopy. I thought I can shortcut that. And I can't. <sighs> Drat. That meant that I shouldn't have gone to Bootleg Bay as early as I did. Dang it. Oh well. Bit late now. Also, I need to deal with this mess. Also, I don't even have Wizard Eye Cast. You know what? Let's load. Autosave. So, going back to Mist again. But this time, I'm just going to immediately go over and level. Here's the trainer. So, the reason why I'm going here to level... Oh, um, I wanted to check this. So, 186 gold. You need to remember, 186. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good so, job. I wanted to level up, and there's very good reasons for this. So... First off, let's go ahead and load an auto save. Train in Freehaven to see if it's the same price. I had a hunch that they're all the same price, but I'm not actually sure. And I wanted to check. It is not the same. Interesting. Okay. So that means that you're incentivized to try and go train at wherever you can train at that is the easiest to level up in so each trainer each training location actually has a maximum level to it for instance new maximum level is 10 
once you level up beyond level 10, you can no longer train a new Serpical, which is fine. Each training facility in the game, with one exception, has a maximum level. That one exception is in Paradise Valley, where there is no maximum level. It's also in the middle of a nightmarish area full of titans, so it's not easy to get to. Because there's actual price differences between these, it actually makes sense to hit each of them early on. And that's what I used to think, but at some point I thought I had looked these up and figured out that they were all the same price. Apparently not, which is good news for me. So, the first thing I need to do is that. Okay. Master of Fire. Master of Air. And you're Master of Water? Yes. There we go. Now I no longer have to worry about having a Gate Master with me because I can just cast the spell myself. That has been my entire goal. Goodbye, Wilma. Everything else is gravy by comparison. So, I have nine points remaining, and I can finally put things in learning over here. Which is what I intended to do. So, I now have Master Water Magic and Learning 4. It's probably about the lowest level I've actually gotten Master of Water Magic. Technically, I only need four ranks of air magic to be a master. But air magic is also really handy spellcasting wise. Um, I need to find expert learning. Isn't that actually here? Hello. Or no, it's in New Serpical. Yeah, Master Fire is 12 rank. Master Air is just being an Archmage, which means that you need to have level 4 because you have to be an expert before you're a master. And also, you need to have done both promotion quests for sorcerers. And yes, I'm going to go back to the Hello. castle and do the promotion quest properly. But anyway, um, I could just dump everything into fire magic. Not much of a reason to in my mind. Um, let's see. You are just going to go like this. I think Master Merchant only required seven. I'm going to double check that really fast. Um, uh, let's see. What was I looking up? Oh, right, skills. There it is. Merchant. Merchant is skill 7, yes. And that's in Silver Cove. Um, experts in Freehaven. Yeah, I can go Master Merchant right now. Which would be rather, rather nice. Learning. Learning is in Usurpical. So I can go Expert that easily. I should get some ranks into Plate Skill. So I can actually hit things. I'm still not going to throw anything into weapons for the time being, because there's not much of a reason to. And plate, I want to say, was eight? Plate ten. No, actually, plate is just being a hero. Okay. So, hero is second promotion for paladin, I want to say, or is it first promotion for paladin? Anyway, that's not very hard. And it's in Freehaven, so it's not a big deal. So, four is all I'm ever going to throw into plate then. There's no reason to throw anything more into it. So that is now done. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to actually have somebody who's halfway decent with a bow. And if I'm going to have somebody halfway decent with a bow, it should be my knight who actually has good stats. Not to mention, doesn't have much else to do. No, I need a repair item. Like that. You've got a little bit of skills left. Um, honestly, I don't care about mace. I don't care about shield skill. None of those really matter that much. 
I mean, shield giving a bonus to AC is nice because it gives triple the amount of skill points that you have into AC. Which is why after you master chain, you should just dump everything into shield. Except that you still take a penalty to getting hit. So shields themselves are a trade-off to begin with. Yeah, let's go ahead and start bumping up spirit as well. Oh, what am I going to do with you, though? Kind of tempted to just try to go for master learning right now. Where was master? I wasn't learning in a weird spot for master. No, I just looked at this. What am I doing? It's only skill 7, too. Let's go ahead and do that. She's going to need a lot of skill points, too, but she's no longer in the rush that she was like before. Um... That'll work. And then Fire Magic will be the next thing I master. For her. Hello. That's right. I don't even have the meditation skill right now. Uh, drinking from troughs usually means that you get drunk or poisoned. I don't remember which in this place. Trickle through light. Yeah, prices are going to be a lot cheaper now. So let's go ahead and pick up some spells that I've been missing, like Lightning Bolt. Proweenie is not very useful. Eventually I'll just pick up everything, but uh, that's not today. Featherfall is absolutely needed. Looks like I'm going to have to go back to Bootleg Bay, apparently. Okay. Okay. Grumble, grumble. Also, you need to cast Wizard Eye because there's enemies that are moving toward me. Water magic. Um, I have all of these spells already other than pro cold uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have all of these spells period just gonna check one or two more times and one more for good measure I probably just have everything but Protection of Cold, which I might as well just pick up. Okay. Yeah, I do actually have everything. I'm only missing two water magic spells at this point. Uh, that would be Ice Blast and Acid Burst. So that's Ice Blast, that's Acid Burst. Those I would have to pick up in Freehaven, and that's it. Anyway, you all are Ba. So, Mist, you're actually supposed to be reaching a bit earlier. I'm Once more, I do things out of order. When do I not do things out of order? But that's fine. Where is the last one of you? You're hiding. Hi. Bye. Mist is actually the easiest zone to clear out completely in the game. Mostly because there's not much to it. Uh, let's see. What do you have? Because I have very little in the way of fire magic. Fireball, firebolt. Haste. That'll have to do. Okay. 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 So at some point, I'm going to have my water mage also be a master of air. And the reason for that is because of a spell called Starburst. Starburst is one of the best outdoor spells in the game. Get a little quick this accuracy. And it's really handy to have. So I'm going to. Let's go ahead and start looking into these places. Now you have temporary luck here. I don't really need to go into the tavern. Expert staff defense. I have no intention of using staff. Already member of the duelist edge. We have expert spear. I don't intend to use spear. Buccaneer Slayer, I'm already a member. Expert Leather Armor Training. I will eventually get that, actually. I did run you out of skill points, right? Yeah. I should probably get that soon. Because recovery time is going to be obnoxious. Right. Needed that. Master is in Castle Stone. Ugh. Alright. Let's go up here to the Buccaneer Slayer. Oh, that's right, it's after hours. You're a burglar. So here's what burglars do for reference. Disarm trap increased by 8 points. However, reputation is decreased by a full category. 
and they cost you nothing. It actually costs you, is it 20%? You shouldn't trust thieves after all. Duelist Edge. Uh, it's time to learn bodybuilding. Everybody should learn bodybuilding because it at least gives you some hit points. Even if it does nothing else. Please move out of my way so I don't accidentally kill you. So, in my Magic 6, the monsters, uh, the enemies in the game will not actually attack townspeople. In 7 and 8, they will, which is a really weird thing. And the reason being is that the, in the beginning of Might Magic 7, you are actually incentivized to have all of the townspeople die from the monsters. It's pretty much the easiest way to actually go through the first zone, and it will happen by accident, usually. Cut purses are fairly easy at this point. They drop crappy daggers, basically. Here's the shrine that I need to go to, by the way. Told you, this is a really simple zone. And plus 10 intellect permanent. Hooray! So next time I need to go over to Castle Iron Fist will be March. And at that point, I will drop a Lloyd's Beacon so I can easily return. Let's go ahead and kill the rest of these annoying things. Yeah, they're dying in one hit, the mages. Even when you normally come here, the Ba are fairly easy. There's three types of creatures in here. It's Ba, Assassins, and, or Ba, Bounty Hunters. How are you? Yeah, you're a pirate. Yeah, pirates are tr boat travel reduced by two days, gold increased by 10%, and reputation decreased by full category and takes 5%. All the ones that are reputation gets decreased by a category usually give you some really nice bonuses. Burglars are the exception. Uh, let's now actually go over here. Yours is temporary intellect personality. And I don't remember what this one did. Oh, Elemental Resistances. Yes, please. Alright. So now I have that quest. And apparently, I have to get the quest and then drink. Uh, anyway, the Council Quest is the hour of Hourglass of Time, which is probably the most obnoxious Council Quest in the game. Finally, there's a teleporter back here that I'm going to go on there, because I'm going to clear out all of Mist. Also, once more, I'm in the wrong spot. Um, yeah, there's... Neck and cast protection from cold, I guess. I don't think there's anything that actually does... Oh, that's right. I need to talk with somebody to wake that up. I don't remember who it was now. Maybe it was the other lighthouse? Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Anyway... Let's go along and start talking with people. You yeah, you're the repair item. That means I've talked with you all. Let's go up here. Armor Imperium. Oh, I can actually start enchanting weapons now. I should start doing that as I walk. Or the temple. The temple's fairly cheap. Town Hall. Ernest the Clerk. Who's a bounty hunt for a thug. Killed a lot of those not that long ago. Um, the counselor, who, there's two major thieves guilds on the island. One of them is Sanctioned, and the other one is called the Shadow Guild. Shadow Guild is nastier. Um, also the Silver Helms. The Fraternal Order of Silver are basically a militia that wants to go patrol this area. They're nasty. There's a dungeon of them nearby, which is what this quest is for. Um, the mayor here wants to allow the Silver Helms to start fighting evil, but they've totally murdered innocent people. Go to their outpost and clear everything out, basically. Hey, you're not the one I'm looking for. You're not it. You're not it. You're not it. Uh, this is Meditation, which I still haven't even learned Meditation. That's actually the Silver Helm Outpost for reference. So it's got to be this lighthouse over here, right?
I can easily recover magic Hello. here, so I'm not too... Yep, it's here. So, followers of Ba and a band of cut purses have been raiding mist from the islands to the north. They come to mist through a teleporter on the northwest of the island. Activate the teleporters, so you can go through. Here's the fun fact about this quest, though. You don't receive a quest in your quest log for it. It disappears. You cannot turn in this quest ever. And you don't gain any experience for this. It's as though the quest isn't really a quest. I'm still going to do it, though, because I said I was going to complete every quest in the game. That and I can probably use the XP, and this should be fairly easy. And you'll see that my tactics for fighting things are going to be dramatically changing now that I actually have master water magic. You notice I'm going to be a lot more bold in fighting things, and that's because I can run away at pretty much any time. as I go. I want to say that some of these are uppercase trees as well. Or is it uppercase rocks for here? Rock, rock, tree. These are all lowercase. I know there's actual campsites and so on. Oh, right. I forgot. I'm going to drop a beacon here. Set. Move back. And town portal away. Because I want to pick up telekinesis already, dang it. So, oh, now I can actually cast Town Portal, so I can go to Free Haven whenever I want, which is right now. And I want to go to the Guild of the Mind, which is over here. You know what? I'm going to pick up Meditation while I'm at it. Uh, Cure Insanity, which I am going to want. You do not have what I need. Evil mind. Telekinesis. See, it's already like a thousand cheaper than what it was. Um, what else am I going to want from mind? Feeble mind is basically useless. Removes the target's ability to cast spells. The problem is that a lot of enemies are immune, or are very heavily resistant to magic, and they're usually the mages. So this doesn't really do much. It's kind of useless. Also, in earlier versions of the game, none of the side effects actually worked. So that was a thing. I think I already have cure paralysis, but I'll double check. Oh, wrong character. Mind. Yes, I have cure paralysis. But now, okay. I have telekinesis, which is the highest level mind spell. You know, as you do. Um, the strength of effect actually means nothing in this game, by the way. The sole thing that it means is that you can pull swords from stones that require a minimum amount of strength. That's it. So, assuming that you had 12 ranks, you would have the equivalent of 36 strength. Which a single might spell would get you. It, It's really just the distance part. That's all that this ends up doing for you. Which is why you kind of don't need more than one rank of mind if that's the only thing you're using out of it. But whatever. Those are not enchantable. These all are. Well, those aren't. And speaking of, go ahead and enchant item again. Double damage versus dragons. Two to five electrical. So anyway, now that I have that, let's go ahead and Lloyd Speak. Or I can't Lloyd Speak at the moment, so I'm going to have to town portal to New Serpical. Yep. Because I can go to the temple at New Serpical to heal really fast. Then I can Lloyd's Beacon back. I told you, my strategies are going to be very different now. Donate more money to the church. Not that that helps. Recover Sherry, which Sherry's over here. Yep, there we go. What's the bounty hunt? Agyar's pet. There's no way in hell I'm getting anywhere near there. 
which did not even give me a reputation bump, but it did level me up. Uh, there was something I wanted to go... Oh, fire. I was about to say, there was something I wanted to master over here. What was it? You're already an expert in body. Hi there. This is mind. Okay. I forgot to grab meditation. Dang it, me. Hello. Doesn't matter. I don't have enough for spirit yet. That's fine. See? This is what happens when you're too high level. It's like, with your skills, you should be working here as a teacher. Sorry, we are unable to train you. Pleased to meet you. Earth, which I'm never going to have. How are you? Fire. Here we go. Okay. Was there anything else that I needed to increase? Um, plate skill is... Um, <laughs> I know that is Castle Iron Fist, but where else is that? And yes, as I mentioned before, it is not, in fact, plate magic skill like I keep trying to say. Oh, mist. Okay. So that's not a big deal. I can go to mist for that. Learning is here. Everybody can go master learning. I'm being really lazy now, which is why I'm flying everywhere. Hey, how's it going? Why I remember that learning is yes. here, I have no idea. Um, Silver Cove is master. Which I could go do now, and I probably should, to be honest. But I don't want to. So let's go ahead and Lloyd's Beacon recall Misty Islands. So now I'm back here. This is what Lloyd's Beacon does. And it's a great spell. But not as great as Telekinesis. Hey, look! I triggered the trap without being anywhere near it. I never have to worry about traps again. That's not actually true. Um, in some dungeons, you can actually be cramped enough where you can't get far enough back to use telekinesis effectively, and you'll still get hit by the trap. It still makes it where it's not worth actually putting ranks into disarm trap. In my mind. Oh, there is... One of those... Go fly because it's faster. So, by the way, I'm just teleported in a different spot of the Misty Islands. There's nothing else on this map beyond these islands and the main island. Oh, maybe I should have grabbed a Starburst just to have fun with this. Yeah, these enemies are basically non-threatening to me at this point, and it's not because of anything I've done beyond my current level. I mean, I'm a party of mages. They haven't even brought me out of green, and I intentionally surrounded myself. They're too low level for me now, basically, and that's fine. The problem with telekinesis is it costs so dang much magic. These are lowercase flowers. Money... That is enchantable. I'm going to rearrange a little bit. Give me a moment. There we go. Um, that is not enchantable. That's enchantable, I think. These are not. Those are just sulbate. These are fruit. Let's grab some more apples. Again, anything capitalized is something you can click on. That's why fruit trees are capitalized as capital T tree. Oh, my fly spells ended. I'm lazy. So, I believe I, I grabbed a fireball spell. That's what Fireball does. It's an area of effect attack. It's nice. It's not the most efficient attack in the game, to put it mildly. Oh, I forgot. I'm in the Misty Islands. There's actually a dragon tower here. I should have been a little more careful. Oh well. That explains why I finally went down to yellow. So 
was going to show you map. See, I've already combed through almost the entire set of islands. There's really not much here. So these fruit trees are basically here. I thought something else got said. Oh, there seem to be any more apples. Um, these fruit trees are here with the idea that the way you're supposed to do this is you go through island by island and falling us and camping for the night between each island. I don't really need to do that, so I don't. Oh, I'm actually getting hurt. I should pay attention. Sparks is even better when I master, uh, whatchamacallit, um, air magic. Then it truly becomes the most efficient spell in the game. Oh, I wish it had expired. Yes, Knight, cast with all of your totally awesome spells. Can you even cast Telekinesis a third time? No. How close are you? You have 18. Let's go ahead and move this over so you can heal temporarily. go ahead and while I'm waiting I'm going to go clear out other things if I'm out of fly ability again you're all melee range so there's something special that the bounty hunters can do and I don't remember what it was now and I don't mean just die less quickly as the rest There's not really too many places in the game that have cut verses. That's because they're too easy of an enemy, basically. Also, you see the obelisk over there. That's the other reason to come over here. But I could have just flown over to this area for that matter. I can't reach them. There's a chance I can actually open this without needing. Nope. Uh, all right. All right. They're worth money at least. Ugh, so many staves. It's all the loot that these drop. Ooh. And that's actually a nice ring. I wanted my cleric to be faster. the last enemy on the island there are no more enemies outdoors on the entire zone of the island of mist that's it there's nothing else hit the obelisk go hit those treasure chests because i want to these two are the ones be able to telekinesis one of them now. Nope. Worth money. I guess this is technically worth money also. I have a little bit more inventory space. Alright, so what I can do is drop a beacon here. Notice how long the beacon lasts. It's a great spell. Wait for, there we go, town portal, mist, drink from the fountain. If 
fountain's expired at this point, so I can't drink any more from the fountain. Go to the temple. Heal up. Woods Beacon Recall Misty Islands. Telekinesis. The last one. Naturally, that's the one I didn't need to... Oh, well. And that's it. That's the entire Misty Islands. I have completely cleared out everything outdoors in Misty Islands. I still have 15 minutes left. Interesting. And it brings you over to the shrine area, which is nice. Hello. Uh, what describes to nothing? Got it. Arms master, cook, spell master. Hi there. You, oh. Hi there. May the dark god save us from the righteous. Is there no end to your people? Get away from me before I put a hex on you. Basically, Becky wants you to have lower reputation than you currently have in order to talk with her. I don't actually care, so I'm not going to bother. I'm not in a rush to get a second NPC. It'd be nice, but I don't really need it. Tinkers are disarm trap. Yeah, the Tinker is probably the one I should have picked up earlier, but I didn't. Quartermaster, Locksmith, Pathfinder. Locksmith is the higher level version? Hello. Let's see. Yeah, Locksmith is six point bonus to Disarm Trap. That would have meant that I would have, would have not needed to worry too much about traps. I didn't, though. So, oh well. It's the only barrel? That's the only barrel. And this being a landlocked nation, there's not going to be any horseshoes anywhere. How are you? Arms master is a bonus to weapons, right? Yeah, two point bonus to weapons. Not worth it. Well, oop. Please don't. Okay. I have got to be more careful about my quick spell there. Um, I keep accidentally hitting it instead of forward it's closed. let's go ahead and chant some more things while i'm here because time wise yeah i can sell some things Would you like to buy something? Uh, uh -huh. you are enchanted you are enchanted I know I can enchant people's weapons as well. I will do that in a bit. You're enchanted. You're not. You're useless. You're useless. You're useless. You're useless. You're useless. You're not enchanted. You're not enchanted. You're useless. 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 I'm just going to put weapons in for the time being. Yeah, I'm full. Yeah, if you leave a shop without doing something, they'll randomly start insulting you on your way out. There's no real effect, to my knowledge. Increases rate of recovery. That's actually rather nice, except that I'm not planning on using swords, as I keep mentioning. Yeah, there's no reputation difference or anything. Enchant. Sword. Plus five speed and accuracy. They're just going to be sold. How you doing? How you doing? All right. That is enchantable, but already enchanted. So, this is where enchant item becomes really nice. So, if you have high enough merchant and you're in a armor emporium that is, um, what should we call it, or any type of shop that is lower level, you could actually have a high enough merchant where they just start selling everything to you at cost which is exactly what this is. Although Night Gauntlets is not actually the one that's enchantable. That's Paladin Gauntlets, I believe. Let me, I'll tab to my notes. My notes say Gauntlets, Paladin above, yeah. So I'm not going to be buying them, but everything is going to be sold at value, which is great. 
So that is enchantable. That is enchantable. There's basically no reason not to buy them at that point. Tend item. I'm going to run out of magic really fast. There we go. Enchant item. Well, shield's not high enough? Interesting. Also, I now have a high enough repair item to repair those, which is nice. Really, shields... Uh, I don't have that on my list as to what level they need to be. But I thought that was high enough value. Apparently not. Huh. Also, my um, water magic is now high enough where I no longer have failures on enchant item. Speed plus 7. Yours is my 11, yeah. making sure there's not any stragglers like that lying around ah. all right and let's go sell how you doing? How you doing? I want to make sure I got there before the end of business oh I'm not selling at full value so I am still losing a little bit of money but not much that's fine Um, do you have anything special that I can buy that's actually worth enchanting? No, your weapons are terrible. Yeah, I won't. Time, 448. So I still have an hour before that opens. Ah, screw it. Let's just go in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to clear this out. Silver Helm Outpost is actually fairly difficult. It's an introduction. It's the introduction to a lot of enemies that are nasty powerful. Can't quite see them. These are the chain variety. So, wait, if these are chain, then the other one's plate. Huh, that's a good point. Anyway, these two captains, you look at their hit point bars. They're not easy to deal with. It was a bunch of sparks to the face, and that was still not that much damage. However, Poison Spray to the face should be doing a lot more damage now. Yeah. Also, Captains break things constantly. That's why I wanted to make sure I had Expert Repair item as soon as I could. Uh, minimize that so I can see what I am doing. Oh, I'm already nearly at time. Hmm. I think this is just going to be a long episode. Yeah, I put the Poison Spray up. Yeah, this is a lot easier when you actually have good magic. This is where mages start shining really well. And I want to say there's stuff on these beds. Nope, not these at least. Barrel of white liquid, that's luck. Alright, monks are down here if I remember correctly. Yep. Monks, the master monks, have the ability to do dispel magic. Right now, I don't really keep enchantments on me to speak of, so it's not that big of a deal. Later on, it is the most obnoxious type of enemy in the game. Also, you are the one with the regen hit points. I don't really care where my resistances go. They're useful on every character. Oh, I walked into something that I shouldn't have. And night class. Okay. This might be a problem. Also, monks drop randomly. They drop cloaks, and that's it. At least I can heal a lot better than I used to be able to. Okay. So my strategy for using magic now will frequently be run up to them and immediately sparks them in the face. Or immediately poison spray them in the face. Poison spray is going to do more damage for the time being because I have so many more ranks of poison spray. Also, so glad that healing is no longer useless. Come 
This is totally not the way I normally do this dungeon. It's actually pretty funny to me. Okay. How much is Poison Spray doing at this point? Uh, 2 plus 1 to 2 per point of skill. So I am at 12 points of skill. So 2 plus 12 d2 five times so that is 10 plus 60 d2 yeah that does a lot of damage if i can hit all hits at the same time so this is the silver helm stronghold there's stuff in everywhere and i believe this is the one that i usually no i usually go in the next one over oh well. i see red boys So that's actually a known glitch to the game is that occasionally when you loot a body, the body doesn't actually get looted. It ends up staying on the ground. It's an item duplication glitch, basically. And you can farm for artifacts that way if you kill dragons and get them to duplicate. I don't like doing that. I may end up doing a little bit of it by accident. So I will be farming dragons for artifacts later on, specifically artifacts that are actually useful to me. And if it happens to glitch while I do that, then so be it. I'm not going to reload because it glitched. Um, that's not very good. Anyway. Oh, and I'm breaking things. As good as new. As good as new. Oh, I forgot to actually enchant the weapons of my characters. I'm sure that I'm being yelled at right now. Oh, and I hit a corner. I'm going to run for a bit. could go back and actually go enchant things this sounds like a good idea and that way i can cut off this episode and continue on to the next episode although i wanted to get a little state of the episode type thing and that's going to be harder to do let's get up i'm not trying to run away dude this is not that hard of a dungeon right i need to actually have them in my inventory enchant item Two to five electrical. I mean, my weapon enchantments are going to be garbage, but there's always a chance that I might have something awesome in there. Do I even have enough magic points? Uh, you need to be enchanted. I do have enough, barely. Thunder Mace of Doom! It's actually a fairly good weapon for him. Let's go ahead and heal up. Yeah, so the spell that happens when you donate is based off of your reputation. So a respectable reputation and below, if I remember correctly, it will be, um, crap, name of the spell, uh, Guardian Angel. There we go. <sighs> yeah, I want to keep playing. So I'm going to at least play in here a little bit longer. This is going to end up being a long episode. I'm sorry, but it's fun. Want to come over here and say something to my face? Master Swordsman also fairly nasty. So there's its hit points before. There's the hit points after. It's a really powerful ability. So once more. Hit points before. Hit points after. Poison Spray is a very powerful ability as long as they don't have poison resistance. Yeah. And humanoids yeah. don't, usually. Yeah. yeah, I don't think any of my other characters' weapons are actually... Uh, just hit already, thank you. I don't think any of my other characters' weapons are actually enchantable. Uh, Mage Dagger might be. There was another duplication. Alright, Cutlass is garbage. Let's find out if it is. Because I can repair it, so I'm not as concerned about accidentally breaking it. It is enchantable. Now it adds five points of poison damage. Nice. Get that loot. Walk back out here. Go through the door I meant to go through originally. Have these folks say hi. Regular guards are not that scary to me anymore. 
Lieutenants aren't even that scary. Oh, I think I might be surrounded right now. No? Was it I did drop, though? Yes, I know you need healing. There, have some healing. And heal a little bit more. Anyway, with a couple of exceptions, the first promotion quests for people are the easy ones. Um, the ex main exception being Archer, where the first promotion quest is one of the hardest in the game. Because the game likes being a dick. Nothing? Nope. Oliver Wendell, in Passages. Thank you for releasing me. The only thing keeping the Silver Helms from killing me was the fact that I'm a priest. Frankly, I'm surprised they would show me any mercy at all. Listen, I've heard some strange sounds coming from around here. I think there may be, might be a hidden passage near here. In any event, I should probably be leaving now. I don't want to stay in the cell any longer. So yeah, it's just a hint there's a secret door. It's flavor. And give you a hint, it's the third one. The one that there's an enemy in. And where is that secret door at? Is it this one? I don't remember where it's at now. I know it's in one of them. Oh, it's there. Derp. And then there's this puzzle. Oh, I should have healed them instead. Oh, um, yes, you can hit yourself with your own spells, but not that style of spell. You notice that I'm barely even using any magic from Poison Spray? It's great. All right. Endurance. 51, 46, 42, 49. You get endurance because that brings you up to 50. So this is a puzzle. It's a really simple puzzle, but it's obnoxious to do if you have too fast of a computer. Yep. Because I will trigger that for happening, unfortunately. Again, my strategy starts taking a very different turn once I get uh, Master Water because, one, I can do a lot more damage than I used to be able to do, but more importantly, two, I can just run away and heal if I want. Okay. So, why is this not triggering? Do I have to hit a switch in here first? So what it is, is that you're supposed to be able to just walk down. So this will actually infinitely spawn enemies, if I remember right. It's one of the few areas of the game where you can always find enemies. Unfortunately, that doesn't really help, because these enemies are relatively weak. just go a different way for the time being um, at one hour four minutes let's go through here hi everybody this is what I call a target rich environment so this is why I tend to play magic heavy parties it's because well I do way more damage with magic than I do with anything else right now and I'm not even very far in the game oh, something broke my bow. How dare you. As good as oh yeah, that's right. I can probably enchant my bows now. Well, not that one. That one for sure. And that one. You know what? 
you should probably have this bow now. There. Anyway. Drop them all the way down to nearly dead. Good job, me. So I become a lot more aggressive. I use a lot more magic because I can easily run away, basically. And I know this. So I use that to my advantage. Might these are the ones that have something weird to them? No? Must be a different dungeon that has that. Nope, oh, nothing hidden in there. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the next one of these. Oops. There's enemies right here. There's a ring in that fire. Nope. I thought there was something in that fire. Oh crap, that's a master. Alright. Um, yeah, let's run and go get healed before I do anything else because uh, Matt's a little low on everything. I don't have my regenerate spell points on him right now, do I? I have it on him. Yep, that explains things. You should always be regenerating spell points from now on. Because you're vital to this team. You are a vital member of this team. You can cast Featherfall. Sure, why not? Turn around, walk back. I mean, this dungeon's so close to the temple, it's not worth town portaling in and out. It would take me j longer to find a condition green spot than it would be for me to town portal anyway. Uh, so, by the way, how are you liking the length of these episodes? Because I'm doing this as an hour long. And that's just mostly where I feel comfortable at ending. I can do them shorter or longer. Shorter just means there'll be more episodes and more. most dungeons will be multi-part. Longer probably means that I'll be able to get more than one dungeon in, or maybe even some of the longer ones. Although, I can guarantee you of at least one dungeon that will be like three or four parts. Because I'm going to be clearing it out. Oopsies. Okay. Master Monks are a lot less scary when you can hit them in the face. There we go. Taken care of. Okay, what are these barrels? White, orange. And which of the two of you need more intellect? You have 55 and 63. You need more intellect. Bunch of sacks. Head back, go this way. Really not sure why that ramp is not working. I didn't think there was a switch or anything. Red, green, white, green. So, red, white, and what color was this? Red. So I've got green, which is endurance, 51, 50, 42, 46. Let's get you up there. There we go. Collect all of the loot. Go to this next room. You're a regular swordsman. I'm not even going to bother using magic on you. Yeah, you guys are easy. Okay, that is further down. I'm not going to go there yet. I seem to remember I need to clean out this spot first. This spot's a nastier spot. Come on closer, please. Please? Once more, hitting the wrong button. And I will always cheese things if I can. And you're the only one left. It's 
So, at least these monks have very little in the way of resistances. I think they have magic resistance, and that's it. But everything in this game has magic resistance, I swear. Alright, that is a one-way door. Or is it a switch-based door? I think it's a one-way door. That's why I wanted to clean that out first, because this passage eventually leads to it. That was what my memory was telling me, at least. Glad my memory was right. And there's nobody in here. There's definitely somebody here. Hi! Uh -oh. Master Monk's dead. Got an amulet. Oh, this is... Oh, nope, that's a normal amulet. I didn't realize they dropped amulets. Huh. Anyway. It is better than this amulet. Oh, for show. All right. Wand of flame. Bucket. That has nothing in it. And then this thing. I might not be far enough away. This is what I mean by telekinesis is a little limited. Oh. Yep, I wasn't quite far enough away. Uh -oh. Enemies list. Hmm. Jarvis. We have determined that the Mayor of Mist is third on our list of enemies, below only Charles de, de Sorpical, so from New Sorpical, and Jenica Bradley. We need you to delicately gain jurisdiction to patrol Mist in the surrounding island, and then to deal with the Mayor accordingly. If this goes smoothly, then remove Charles and Jenica as well. Handle this job with great care and you will be rewarded. Gerard Black Ames. Mm. That's something, at least. Money, money. Crossbow is cell bait. Ah. Wooden shield of magic might actually end up being equipped. Um, you need some AC. Okay, so that's technically what I needed for the quest. Okay, I've got to be missing... There's the button. It's like, I've got to be missing a button somewhere. Run down. Oop, that's not good. far down are you? Negative 13. Dang. That is actually low enough where this isn't going to be enough. Okay, now I'm in green. So I'm going to give the hit point regeneration... That was a... Yeah, this one. So he will actually regenerate hit points. There we go. While asleep. Also, this needs to be repaired. That's probably why you dropped so quickly. Crappy studded leather. That's fine. And I need two uses of telekinesis. But this entire side's complete. I'm going to wait. There we go. Long enough so he can heal himself. As the spell points, I can get one more heal off. as far away as I can. I normally do this when I actually have promoted characters. Oh. This one's safe now. This kind of had garbage in it. Oh well. This one, I'm going to have to fight or trap disarm. This has key to Garrick's laboratory, which I actually needed for other reasons. Garrick's lab can go die in a freaking fire. But whatever. Uh -huh. It's crappy, but it's actually something useful. Cell bait. Cell bait. Cell bait. Cell bait. Alright. Personality plus five. Needs to go to the cleric. Thurns four. Sure. Fire resistance one. Sure. And you can't heal yet. You'll be able to heal soon enough. I think because I walked out of there, I can now um, go up the ramp that I was trying to go up. Yeah, this won't be super late. It'll just be like an hour 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and heal. I think I can still heal. I don't think they're closed yet. Are they closed? No, they're not closed yet. Maybe 
Yeah, notice it costs more because he was unconscious. It didn't actually matter that much because it's still cheap, so I'm not too concerned. Let's go back in here and finish the dungeon. And then Mist will be completely 100% finished. The first zone that we'll actually be finishing off. Which is nice. So I think I heard the correct noise where I can now walk up this ramp. I hope so. No. Where the heck's the button? Did I just miss the button in here or something? Yeah, I did. That explains things. So. You walk up this ramp. And fall. And reload. That's how this works. Basically, you have to go a certain speed. And I never remember what the speed is. Because it's dependent on how fast your, fast your computer is. I think it might actually be walking speed. Yep. On other computers, it's actually running speed. Yep. Yep. Also, I'm actually going to cast Featherfall now that I'm remembering. See what I mean? It, it glitches a little bit. It's not supposed to do that. So I think it's outside edge walking speed. Outside edge walking speed. Nope, it glitched again. Darn it. Uh, this would be a lot easier if I had the jump spell, but I don't. Nope. I really don't understand this. On my original computer, as in the one that I first played this on, it was running speed and you just run up and that was it. It's not even... Oh. See, it's just not... Ah. Is it that I'm bouncing? I don't quite understand why it's glitching. So this will take me a moment or three. Also, I forgot to go back into first person mode. I'm just going to save each step of the way so I don't have to keep reloading when it glitches again. So this should just be walk up and... Uh. That one was run up, apparently. Boy. Anyway, the whole point was to get up here. And you'll notice that we're still in condition green. There's no enemies left. In theory. Except there totally are. And this teleported me back down, didn't it? Ah, grumble. Let's do this again. Oh, screw it. Let's just reload from the quick save. Do this one again. And not hit the mural until I'm ready to leave. Alright. Get as far away as I can get from it, but still see the chest like that. Telekinesis. This one, I'm almost certainly going to end up triggering myself. Telekinesis response time is really slow. Oh. Yep, that one I was going to get hit on. Money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cell bait, cell bait, cell bait. Uh -huh. Barely even worth picking up. Money, money. Life. Worthless, uh -huh. worthless, Life. worthless. Worthless. Yeah, that's a rather full inventory. Okay. Now I think I'm done. No, there's, oh, Melody Silver. Who's somebody I was looking for. 
thank you for rescuing me from the clutches of those ruffians. Oh, I wish there was some way for me to reward you. I remember what I'm supposed to do with Melody. Not anymore, at least. This is where Melody has been being held. There's a bucket. There's nothing in that bucket. It's a chamber pot. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit this. Grab them. And leave this place for we are completely done with this dungeon. We never have to return, and I totally turned around. In fact, not only do we never have to return, I don't even need to go back to town. I kind of do, actually. If I need to return one of the quests. But it's not time yet. What it is, however, time for is for me to save and end for the day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's run long, my apologies. But I will see you next time where I will go through some type of um, FAQ catch-up type thing. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and ask. I'll be answering some questions, some things that I think people would ask as well because I doubt I'm going to get any significant number of questions. And, well, that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed. Ah. Yes, there we go. And I will talk to you next time. Goodbye, Internet.